Uh, good morning. Uh, this is Libran Abraham. I would like to do a presentation on stakeholders in health policy development and implementation. First of all, what do you mean by a stakeholder? A stakeholder refers to a person or a group who has specific connection with an organization. Stakeholders have an influence on or are influenced by the operations, targets, and strategies of the organization. That means stakeholders could be a person or it could be a group who has specific or special connection with an organization. Um, they have a direct or indirect influence on the functions, aims, and uh, policies of the organization. As you all know, optimal health is the main objective of all healthcare delivery system. This state of health can be obtained through planned action. Um, the roles of stakeholders come into play in this situation. The main aim of stakeholder is to obtain a state of well-being. In healthcare, stakeholders include patients, healthcare professionals, pharmacists, government, supplier, etc. The main area of concern or the main area of focus of stakeholders in healthcare includes hospitals, clinics, health centers, nursing homes, and community. A healthcare stakeholder is in frequent contact with the healthcare provider. That means uh, a healthcare stakeholder should maintain a continuous contact with the healthcare provider to ensure optimum health. Now we will move on to the types of stakeholders. There are mainly three types of stakeholders. They are external stakeholders, interface stakeholders, and internal stakeholders. External stakeholders. External stakeholders come under three categories. They are those that render elements to the organization, uh, those that compete with it, those that have special concern with the functions of the organization. Those that render elements to the organization. The relation between external stakeholders and organization is mutual dependence. They depend on each other for their existence. That is, external stakeholder provides inputs to the organization and they take output from the organization in return. This category includes patients, suppliers, pharmacies, and the financial community. Those that compete with it. These stakeholders allure the people who rely on organizations. They have direct influence on patients by competing with other organizations. They may also compete for skilled professionals of the related healthcare system. It is not necessary for the competitor to have a symbiotic relationship. Competition is the main speciality of uh, these stakeholders. They attract the people who depend on these organizations. They compete for with other organizations to improve the standards. So they have direct influence on patients. Uh, they may also compete for the skilled professionals. They may also look for the skilled professionals. Uh, they attract them by in, uh, increasing their inducements. Uh, so they may also compete for skilled professionals. Uh, in this case, it is not necessary for the competitor to have a symbiotic relationship. So they don't uh, depend on each other for their existence. Those that have special concern with the functions of the organization. These are special groups whose area of focus is the operations of the organizations. Hospitals are bounded by rules and regulations. The special groups associated with the healthcare system are accreditation committee, government regulatory agencies, local community, labor units, etc. The special interests of these groups often result in disputes. Uh, that means these are special groups. They mainly focus on the functions of the organization. You know, there are uh, rules, different rules and regulations in the hospital system. Uh, these rules are regulated by accreditation committee, government regulatory agencies, 
local community, labor units, etc. They have a, their own special interest in the functions of the hospitals. So their special interest often results in conflicts or disputes. Now we move on to the second category of stakeholders. They are interface stakeholders. Interface stakeholders are considered as the most powerful among the, all the stakeholders in the healthcare delivery system. They work on the boundary between the organization and its environment. The stakeholders come under this umbrella are medical staffs, trustees of the hospital board, organizations of the integrated delivery system, or network. Even though these stakeholders have lack of inducements from the organization, they are able to provide professional independency for medical staffs, institutional prestige for hospital board, and a special service and benefits for the contributors. These stakeholders are considered as the most powerful among all the stakeholders. They work on the boundary between the organization and its environment. These stakeholders include medical staffs, trustees of the hospital board, organizations of the integrated delivery system, or network. These stakeholders do not get enough inducements from the organization, but they are able to provide professional autonomy for medical staffs, institutional prestige for hospital board, and special service and benefits for the contributors. The third category in stakeholders are internal stakeholders. Internal stakeholders function within the allotted environment of the organization. Management, professional, and non-professional staffs come under this category. The stakeholders get sufficient inducements from the management in a view to get regular contribution from them in return. The stakeholders decide whether the provision is sufficient enough to make the required contribution by analyzing the inducements or offers from the competitive organizations. The exchange partners try to get high inducements by providing low contributions. This may persuade the organization to reorganize the situation to make the needed contribution. Internal stakeholders uh, function within the environment of the organization. This includes management, professional, and non-professional staffs. They get sufficient inducement from the management and they expect regular or continuous contribution from them as return. These stakeholders decide whether the profession is sufficient to make uh, enough contribution by analyzing the inducements or offers from the competitive organizations. They get uh, try to get uh, high inducements by providing low contribution. This may uh, persuade the organization to reorganize the situation to make the needed contribution. Importance of stakeholders. Stakeholders play a pivotal role in setting up preferences and targets to ensure its relevance and aptness. It's important that all the stakeholders should be involved in policy making, not just beneficiaries. It's also good to know the characteristics of the stakeholders when planning a policy on which they involve. This helps to assign roles and responsibilities to different stakeholders which ensures the successful implementation of the policy and the elimination of conflicts between the stakeholders. Stakeholders' needs and interests are taken into consideration for the design of the policy in order for it to be successful. Stakeholders play an important role in setting up priorities and targets in a healthcare setting. It is important that all the stakeholders should be involved in policy making, not just beneficiaries. It's better to know the characteristics of the stakeholders while planning a policy on which they involve. This uh, helps to assign the different roles and responsibilities according to the characteristics of the stakeholders. And uh, it helps to ensure the successful implementation of the policy. And this also helps to prevent or eliminate the conflicts between the stakeholders. While planning a policy, stakeholders' needs and interests are to be taken care of for the successful implementation of the policy. The power and influence of the stakeholders determine the success or failure of an initiative. For the success of a project, a stakeholder should know how they can be involved in the project or how much they should contribute. Regarding failures, the stakeholder should have the capacity to change the plan of action 
or even stop it. In other words, a stakeholder should have the capacity to know where to act, when to act, and how to act. When coming to the conclusion, different stakeholders in healthcare system are involved in policy development and implementation. Some of them have a mutual dependence relationship with the organization. They have direct or indirect influence on the functions of the organization. Even though different stakeholders carry different roles and responsibilities, their aim in healthcare system is to achieve a state of well-being. Um, we have seen three different stakeholders in the healthcare system. Their roles and responsibilities are different. Some of them have mutual dependence relationship with the organization. They have some of them have direct or indirect influence on the functions of the organization. Even though they have different roles and responsibilities, their aim in healthcare system is to achieve a state of well-being. If you have any doubts or queries, you can go to this bibliography. It will help you to clear your doubts or queries. Thanks for listening to my presentation. Have a good day. Bye.